Associate Prof. Izwan, Prof. Sile Kang, Associate Prof. Andrew Tan, Surgeons, Doctors, Family Members of our beloved silent mentors, Members of the Medical Faculty, as well as fellow medical students. 敬爱的书艺教授,伊兹万副教授,私立副教授,陈建群教授,专科医师们,家属们,各位医学系的同学,大家下午好。I'm Brian, and the partner here is Wang Wan. We will be your MCs for the event this evening. We would like to extend our warmest welcome to everyone here today who are able to join us in our brief introduction session of the 18th Silent Mentor Workshop. The Silent Mentor Program was first established by Silent Mentor Center in Faculty of Medicine, University of Malaya. This particular program was inspired by the Suchi University in Taiwan, where surgery simulations are carried out to serve as professional training programs. Silent Mental Center has successfully held 17 workshops in the past, and this is the 18th one. We would like to use this opportunity in hopes that everyone could understand what the Silent Mental Program is truly all about. Without further ado, let us welcome the Executive Committee Member of the Silent Metal Program, Prof. Si Associate Prof. Sile, for an opening speech. Very good evening, uh, family members and friends of our respected silent mentors, the academic staff, medical researchers, the medical students, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, on behalf of our silent mentor program committee, University of Malaya, Faculty of Medicine, I would like to thank everyone attending this initiation ceremony of 18th Silent Mentor Workshop Session. To become a doctor, as a medical student, we learn the anatomy and different, different parts of the body and organs. Then later we learn the disease and then we learn the skill for the operative procedures. Since many, many years ago, the formalized soak the emblem, human bodies were used, and we dissect, we study the anatomy, all the detailed structures. And but these human cadavers are those who donated to the medical schools, medical universities, and some unclaimed human bodies in the hospitals from the hospital. Some of them have identification, some of them even do not have identification at all. After each and every session of the different different parts, then these body parts are de were detached and later disposed by the anatomy department. So nowadays, the less body donation and then also more advanced in the technology, then this anatomy, human anatomy, were taught with using the plastic models, mannequins, even with the computerized table. So, what we, the, the, our medical students can learn about detail, but the lacking is no of a humanity. And then these computerized things 
and plastic models, not really like a human body tissue. So now our students in this era have a less chance to study about the human uh, tissues. We do have uh, some tissues and parts of the body in our anatomy lab, and it was uh, soaked in a formalin for 10 years, and they don't have a chance, our students not have a chance to dissect, and they just learn, already dissected the formalinized tissue. So this issue has raised in a different part of the world. So as uh, NCs, they did mention about that, this is a silent mental idea. The spirit has a start from the Taiwan. And uh, the Ma Masters Cheng Yang was asked by the principal of this city's university. And how can we improve this medical education in this uh, uh, era? So she said, the greatest suffering in the life is illness. If the doctors can save more lives by learning from our donated bodies, that would be of great worth, I quote. So since then, this asylum mentor-based clinical skills training program has established, and this asylum mentor spirit has spread all over the world. And I must mention Prof. Chin Pin Fa, who was a surgeon and was in a University of uh, a few years ago. And then he started to initiate this program in 2012 with the Sitges uh, University. Uh, from then he started the workshop, first workshop in 2012. So since then, we've been going on until now. So after Prof. Chin has joined Utah, and this program has really, really beneficial to train our students, and every student has a chance to participate in this program. So we thought that this is very, very useful and beneficial program. So since already established in UM, and we have a new um, comedy, it's led by Prof. Saw, and um, with a great supportive team of this asylum mentor uh, committees and we go on with this uh, program. So we run this is 18th uh, program now. So we let our next generation not to just handle the body, human body, with the utmost respect and the gentleness that which donated to us, our late silent mentor. We also train them to become a humane when giving care of the patients and communicate with the relative that they came to your home and, and visited, and then also interview, and they got to know about their stories, their life stories, medical illness, and what is their wish to the medical students, and then how much they want to contribute to their selflessness. So in that case, that we have got this opportunity to learn this humanity from our late silent members. So in this workshop that we will be conducting, specialties workshop, orthopedics workshop, and then oral medicine fishery work workshop, and then also undergraduate skill workshops, and expecting to attend all from some groups, by groups from the University of Malaya, and then also from Monash University, the local university. And this time we have uh, the students from Yangon University of Medicine from Myanmar as well. I would like to thank, take this portion to thanks to all the silent mentor team members, then academic staff who are giving extra sessions to the students in the late, until late evening. And then also volunteers, teachers, the alumni, previous uh, uh, alumni from UM, and then they come back and and want to share their skills and, and, and taking their teaching sessions. And also I would like to thank professors from University of Myanmar as well, and who are not just here to observe, and they also want to contribute in the teaching sessions. So you all are welcome. And then also I would like to thank to Mr. Sia as well, 
who is have his passions and tireless effort to do this entire program. But very importantly, my heart felt thank to all the family members and friends of the our silent selfless silence mentor for supporting to fulfill their final wish. This is very difficult decision, I understand. Their final wish to contribute towards a better health care and then make the doctors to become a common compassionate doctor. And very, very most importantly, I would like to take heartfelt gratitudes to our late silent mentors, late Mr. Lau, Mr. Ao, and Mr. Hong, Mrs. Lee, Mrs. Wong, and Mrs. Hock for your selfless contributions towards the medical education and research. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Prof. Singh.